Hello everybody, I hope that you're well. Today I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I eat and drink in a week here in Mexico and how much I spend on said food and drink. I am currently living in Puerto Escondido, which is in Oaxaca in Mexico. Although Oaxaca is one of the cheapest states in Mexico, Puerto Escondido is a touristy destination, so the prices are gonna be a bit higher than the rest of the state. However, I would say that Puerto Escondido relatively is still one of the cheaper tourist destinations in Mexico. So just try to keep that in mind when you see the prices. As you may be able to see, I'm not in my apartment anymore. In the previous apartment, we had a kitchen so David and I were having a lot of home-cooked meals. Now we've moved into a hotel in Zicatella. There is no kitchen, which is a shame, but we do have a fridge. But for the most part, it does mean that we are eating meals out. This is not a guide in any way. I'm not showing you how to eat on a budget in Mexico. Maybe I can do that in another video. This is just a realistic look at how much I'm typically spending on food in Mexico personally. My current budget that I've set myself for living in Mexico is 50 pounds a day, which equates to around 1,000 500 pounds per month. For me, this is to account for a private room with a bathroom, any travel or activity expenses, and of course, all of my food and drink. I'm currently not on any kind of diet, but I do eat intuitively, which means I generally don't really stick to meal times. I just eat when I'm hungry. And finally, before we begin, this entire video has been filmed on an iPhone 12 Pro, my new phone. So do let me know what you think about the quality, if you notice a difference or anything. So the only thing that I have loaded in my fridge ahead of this week is Activia because I quite enjoy them in the morning. They cost just 10 pesos each, so you may see me sipping on them a few times, and that is exactly what I have kicked off my Monday with. It was quite a late start to the day, meaning we went for an extremely late lunch at around 4 p.m. David and I chose to go to El Cafecito in Zicatella. The nice thing at going at a weird meal time is that there is no queue outside. I went for a refill Americano coffee for just 19 pesos and the veggie omelet, which which is absolutely jam-packed and delicious. It came with some refried beans and some chips, and that was 92 pesos. After the sun went down, we were in the mood for a few bevies, so we went to Esmeralda, which is a pool bar in Cicatella, and you get to play for free when you order drinks, and the cocktails are actually very reasonably priced, so I decided to go for two Aperol spritz for 150 pesos. We played best two of three, and I don't know if David was letting me win, but I unexpectedly won. What a legend. After our late lunch, we waited until about 9 p.m. to have dinner and chose this Italian restaurant in La Punta called Mundaca. I'd never been, but it was clearly very popular. Neither of us was super hungry though, so we decided to share a pasta between us. We went for the spinach and shrimp one. Oh my goodness, it was absolutely delicious. And dividing 180 pesos by two is just 90 pesos each for dinner, bringing my Monday total to 361 pesos. Moving swiftly on to Tuesday, it was a super early start for me this morning as I was going on a boat trip. So on the way to the departure point, I stopped off at OXO at 6 a.m. to get a quick cold coffee for 20 pesos. I'm not the biggest fan of the bottled ones here because they make them ridiculously sweet, but given the time of day, I was happy to simply make do with what I could get. We saw the sunrise from the boat and the tour was amazing. We saw so many dolphins playing around in the ocean and we even got the magical moment of being super close to a whale. This was a tour organized by Tower Bridge Hostel. It cost 400 pesos, but I'm not including activity prices in this video. I thought I'd just let you know for future reference because I highly recommend it. I'm back from the dolphin whale watching. Um, just had a shower and I'm absolutely starving. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. So we're gonna go to a cafe which we passed yesterday, which looks really nice uh, for some brunch. Oh no, spirulina is closed today. What are the chances it's a Tuesday? Uh, all right, let's go search somewhere else. I hope to go there another day of the week. I did have an Activia to keep me going until we ended up going to Tostal, which you may recognize from the street food tour video, but it's the street food with a view. This time I went for a shrimp soup and the shrimps were bloody huge. Absolutely delicious though, bursting with flavor, just the right amount of spice and great value for 100 pesos. We made a quick pit stop in Amarisa Cafe so I could get a takeaway cappuccino for 40 pesos for the car journey to Zipolite. 
It takes about an hour and 20 minutes to get to Zipolite and we found a nice little shaded spot to relax for the afternoon. At around five o'clock it was time for some food so I ordered this delicious plate of guacamole for 70 pesos on the beach. I ordered a carajillo which is a bit like a Mexican espresso martini however they didn't have the liquor to make it uh, so instead she's given me an espresso with Baileys. Uh, I don't know how much she's going to charge me for it but well, I guess I'll just wait until we see the bill. I got charged the same price as what a carajillo would have been, which was 80 pesos. We then decided to take a walk to get to know the surrounding of Zipolite before the sun went down. So we found this beautiful viewpoint to watch the sunset and they have a little store where they're selling drinks. And so I got a coconut, which cost 30 pesos. The sunset was absolutely beautiful, but we then had the task of trying to find accommodation for the night. I know this is going to be one of the most precious things you've probably ever heard me say, but basically my least favourite thing when backpacking as a backpacker is searching for accommodation on the night of, um, like, when you're wanting to stay there and, like, searching for it by literally going door to door. It's just my least favorite thing in the world. It makes me so stressed. And anyway, that's what like David was wanting to do. And I was, my anxiety was just building, building, building up. And I also just think being in the sun all day and I've been bitten a little bit, I was just feeling so stressed. So um, I brought myself to a nice, I, I believe Middle Eastern restaurant and got myself a glass of wine and um, a plate of hummus um, to calm my anxiety. <laughs> and David wants to continue looking on the street. I'm gonna look on my iPad for somewhere to stay tonight. Um, but yeah, extra expenses for all things that I've got. The glass of wine cost 75 pesos and the hummus cost 80 pesos to finish off the food and drink for Tuesday, bringing the Tuesday daily total to 495 pesos. Now Wednesday, we had woken up in the town of Mazunte. There was a very appealing looking restaurant right by the beach called Estrella Fugas, which seemed perfect for a late breakfast with lots of options. I don't know how, but we managed to nab the best seat in the house. I ordered an Americano coffee and could literally see the whales play around in the ocean as I sipped my coffee. It was unbelievable. The coffee actually came with my breakfast. I ordered the fresh vegetable omelette. That looks amazing. It's come with beans this is the omelet with fresh vegetables and rice as well so it was expensive but this is big so definitely one of the pricier breakfasts that I've had but it was a big plate very tasty and with a view like that I feel like the price tag is more than justified we then relaxed on the beach of Mazunte for a few hours and we were about to be driving three hours up into the mountains so before we left I popped into Sushido on the beach and ordered number three special roll to eat in the car which was 140 pesos it had avocado cucumber and cream cheese on the inside and fresh salmon on the outside I was very much in my happy place i really like sushi we were then in the car for three hours driving into the mountains to a town called san jose del pacifico we finally arrived in the town of san jose del pacifico we're settled we've got somewhere to stay and it's quite late it's like quarter to ten in the evening but um, i haven't had a proper dinner and i really fancy something and what's very strange is that I've had this weird sensational craving for wings since arriving in Puerto Escondido. I feel like a proper wings connoisseur of the town. And still in San Jose del Pacifico, I'm craving wings. And so that's what I'm going to go for um, this evening. God, I've really eaten a lot today. Eaten and spent a lot, but... Uh, we were told the wings were quite small, so we decided to order 18 between the two of us in three different flavors. Qual es cual? You could guess this honey mustard, yeah. barbecue, and buffalo. Yeah, you think? I guess. I'm pretty, pretty sure. We also ordered these fries with melted cheese and bacon because clearly we were very hungry that Wednesday evening. So for all of that, 18 wings and loaded fries was 250 pesos divided by two is 127.50 each. And that brings the Wednesday daily total to 412 pesos. Roll on Thursday and we woke up in absolute paradise. Good morning from our beautiful, cute little cabin in San Jose del Pacifico with this view 
oh my goodness, I'm in a happy place. This hotel is called Puerto del Sol, I believe, and it costs 600 pesos a night to stay in the little cabin that we are in with a private bathroom and hot water. It's really, really cute, and obviously the view is gorgeous, and there is free breakfast, so that's what I'm about to go eat this morning. Even the walk to the breakfast cabin was beautiful, and we were then greeted with a buffet-style breakfast. So, for breakfast, I have cornflakes with milk, classic, and then I put a little bit of maple syrup over the top of it. Uh, they do have toast, I don't really fancy toast this morning. And then I got um, an apple yogurt of some description, and a banana, and a coffee with milk. Nothing special here, but I am grateful that it is free. We love a free breakfast, don't we? Ah, see, let me <laughs> It was then time to explore the incredibly quirky town of San Jose del Pacifico, which is heavily mushroom themed, as it's a town with no police where the locals make the regulations and it is completely legal to buy and consume magic mushrooms there. We did a bit of driving and were feeling a bit peckish around 2 p.m. so stopped on the side of the road for an esquite, which is a typical Mexican street food mainly made up of sweet corn, butter, cream, mayonnaise, cheese, and other unhealthy delicious things. I bloody love esquites and this one cost 20 pesos. About two hours later, we realized the esquite was not quite enough to satisfy our hunger, so we took ourselves to La Taberna de los Duendes, who make humongous pasta dishes. We went for the Sancho Pancho to share, and oh my good golly goodness, it was sensational. My mouth is watering looking back at this footage. It cost 250 pesos, so 125 pesos each. After that, we walked to Altos del Golan, which is a beautiful viewpoint in San Jose del Pacifico, where you can watch the sunset over the magical mountains. It is friggin' cold in this town, and so I bought a really questionable uh, woolly hat, which I like, uh, and a hot chocolate. Gracias, which has come with this for 40 pesos, and I'm hoping that it warms me up nicely. Oh yeah, I bought some gloves as well. He's got one of the hats too. <laughs> we look like quite the pair. Don't regret anything. And later on, I wasn't quite hungry enough for another meal, so just had these banana chips for 20 pesos, bringing the Thursday daily total to 205 pesos. Good morning once again from a beautiful day here in San Jose del Pacifico. Uh, we are, we've now got our mushroom hats and feeling very excited about that. I'm still very much suffering from hay fever. I don't know if I told you yesterday, but I could hardly breathe. <laughs> Clearly just the air is affecting me here. And anyway, we're back in like the reception area getting the free breakfast. So I've got exactly the same as yesterday. Banana and a strawberry yogurt. What have you got? <laughs> the same. Doesn't matter. It's free. After breakfast, it was time to say goodbye to our beautiful cabin in Puerto del Sol in San Jose del Pacifico. David blew some bubbles and we went for a walk. For lunch, we found this street food chicken place. They gave us the most humongous plate of barbecue chicken along with some rice and tortillas, all for 150 pesos, so just 75 pesos each for an absolute feast. Before heading on the bus back to Puerto Escondido, I got a mocha from this random cafe. It was absolutely boiling, so I had to wait a while for it to cool down, but it was pretty tasty. David headed in the opposite direction in his car back to his hometown, so we have gone separate ways for now. When I arrived back in town, I went for dinner with some friends in La Punta. We ate at Chicama, which is a fusion Peruvian restaurant. It has a really great vibe and the food is notoriously fantastic too. I got myself a glass of wine for 90 pesos. And for starters, we all shared these cow heart brochettes. I don't know how you say that. And for the mains, my friend Jack and I shared two mains between us, the blackfish tataki style with teriyaki sauce and the sashimi. 
Oh my goodness, it was absolutely divine. I love raw fish, so I was in absolute heaven. I spent 225 pesos in total for my share of food, so that brings the Friday daily total to 430 pesos. So now it's the weekend, and of course I started it off in Amarisa Cafe getting some work done because I kind of have already enjoyed a weekend's worth of fun during the week, and it was time to knuckle down. I was in Amarisa for quite a few hours, so I got two cappuccinos, which cost 80 pesos. I'm with my friends and for lunch we are going to be going to Spirulina. Hopefully it's open today because it's not a Tuesday. I was very happy to finally get to Spirulina which is like a health food restaurant when it was not closed. They have things like acai bowls, loads of smoothies, juices and other healthy goodness. I went for Pimp My Avo which was essentially avo toast with extra mushrooms and some poached eggs. I've got to be honest, I was kind of disappointed with the eggs because the yolk didn't satisfyingly run over the avocado toast, but I enjoyed it anyway because I try not to be that precious about food. I'm just grateful to be here, let's be honest, and that cost me 80 pesos. I had lunch at like 12.30 and it's now about five o'clock, just before five o'clock, so it's not quite dinner time yet. I think I'm gonna go out for dinner again with my friends this evening, um, but I'm feeling super, super peckish. And so I'm gonna open the fridge and have one of my Activias. Because um, I didn't have one this morning, I actually completely forgot that I had these in the fridge to be honest, but I'm quite glad because it's a little snack which should keep me going until dinner time. The usual routine around 6 p.m. is to head out to the beach to watch the sun go down. Pretty much everyone in town does this every day here and it's such a nice moment. And then after the sun goes down, it is time for dinner. Today, I was with some friends and we headed to an Italian restaurant called Bendito's, which I've never been to before. It is right next to the Adekine night market, so it's a great location. And they had loads of delicious looking pizza and pasta on the menu. I got myself a glass of white wine, of course, for 70 pesos. I shared a starter with some of my friends which was this cheese fondue with mushrooms and guacamole on the side a combo i never would have thought to put together but oh my goodness it was absolutely fantastic and then for the mains i got fresh fettuccine pasta with salmon in a creamy tomato sauce which was really quite fantastic if you know me you know i absolutely love pasta so i was in my happy element the pasta was 170 pesos, bringing my food total to 210 pesos. And to finish off my day, I took a trip to Oxo and got a late night mocha from the self-service machine for 24 pesos. They're not the best coffee, they're extremely sweet, but they do the job and certainly satisfy my sweet craving. So that brings the entire Saturday daily total to 474 pesos. Good morning, it's Sunday, the last day of the week and I'm almost out of my water tank, but I'm gonna buy a new one tomorrow, so that's not gonna be on this weekly list. Anyway, I spent way more than I was expecting to the last couple of days, been on a couple of slightly bougier dinners with my friends, which was unplanned, so I'm gonna try, depending on who I hang out with today, to spend less than what I was before. We'll see how we go, see if we can spend the final day of the week without spending too much money. Um, but I'm gonna start off, it's like 9.30 a.m. with an Activia, 10 pesos Activia. Great way to start the day. My room is a mess, but the best thing about this hotel is that they come and clean your room every single day. And it's only 145 pesos, no, 150 pesos per night. Good deal, it's a really good deal. First stop of the day was of course Amarisa for a cappuccino for 40 pesos and got some work done because my weekend was in reverse this week. At lunchtime I went to a restaurant close by in Zicatella called Sativa to continue my work but also grab some food to eat. I went for the moon rock salad which was absolutely humongous. I was not expecting it to be that big. It had falafel, hummus, goat's cheese, cherry tomatoes, cranberries other unidentifiable goodies. It was super tasty and I almost struggled to finish it, but you best believe that I did inhale the whole thing without leaving a trace. It cost 150 pesos, which was extremely reasonable, I thought, considering the size and the great location on the beach. It was my first time there, but I will definitely be returning. I continued to work in the day and finished off my week with some wildly unhealthy street food. There is this lady who makes hamburgers and hot dogs. She puts in bacon, ham, 
and cheese, pineapple, and you got yourself a pretty tasty burger for 50 pesos. I brought it back to my balcony to enjoy while reading a book on Blinkist because God forbid I would actually read an entire book. This one was called We Need to Talk and it was all about the art of communication. Anyway, my daily total for Sunday was 250 pesos, which as desired was a cheaper day than usual, so I was pleased with that. And that was it. That was my entire week of eating and drinking in Mexico. In total, I spent 2,627 pesos, which is about 95 pounds. I'm aware that's not on a tight budget, it, but in general I've been pretty spoiled with the food I've eaten so the value is certainly there for me. Obviously what you haven't seen so much is I have been drinking water as well just in case you thought I wasn't drinking enough. I mean I probably still don't but I do at least drink enough to keep me alive in the Mexican heat. And like I said this was just a super realistic look at a typical week for me. If you'd like me to make this kind of video again let me know. I'm thinking of doing some sort of challenge with it like spending as little as possible or perhaps just eating super super healthy let me know if you'd like to see that. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!